Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing? How's everyone night been? Day, whatever, morning for most of you fucks. Uh, we're coming back to Ark again. I'm still doing more work on the base. It looks like, I don't know if Vlad's actually done any work or not. Kind of looks like he has, but it's hard to tell. I do know he's been collecting resources for me, so uh, we're going to jump right into it and see. There we are. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I'm going to lower that. I don't know if he's in... Yeah. I'll have to keep an eye on. Maybe he'll jump into chat. I also don't know what he's been doing. There's also a turtle inside that's actually kind of funny. No, oh, hold on. Hold on, I have to do something. Alright, sorry about that. Alright. Let us see what he has done. Oh. He's moved stuff. I gotta move this mic around. It's always hard to figure out where to set this thing. Alright, what has he done? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. That will do it. Cool. I'm gonna grab food first. Vlad should be around here somewhere. Oh. Huh. I mean, we have a ton of jerky. But we're gonna need new meat. I will take the jerky. I'll take a half stack. Let's see what happens. He's giving me about 114. I don't even know if it's enough. I hope it is. Uh, throw 50 back in here. 14 back in here. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, hold on. Get, get. There you go. Sorry about that. Had to kill something. You know how it is. All right. That goes in there. That goes in there. So I don't think he's actually done anything on the work. I think this is mostly a fucking turtle. Oh, cool. Um, still a raptor in the center of that, getting fucked by a turtle, and the fucking raptor won. Cool. Well then, can he get out, or is he just stuck? I don't know. Oh, where's Vlad? He's either, he should be playing. Or he's unconscious somewhere. Oh, he's made a fabricator. Holy shit. Hasn't done anything with it. Oh, there he is. I think he's I think he's AFK, hold on. He's doing something. Hmm. Well, I think the raptor's stuck. 
But I also can't work inside it without him absolutely trying to eat my ass. So uh, I should have asked the lad to do was make me a um, a set of armor, weapons, this full like nine yards. Did he leave a gun now? He has the bullets for it and the gunpowder. But he does not have the actual firearms. I think he only made the one set for himself. And I haven't gotten around to doing it. I guess... Oh, I do have one of these guys. Let's see. Also, knowing Vlad, he probably put the raptor in here on purpose. Where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. Continuously trying to jump. There we go. Now it's clear. Now I can work on this again. Now, I'm a bit picky about- Ow! Oh shit! Jesus. Cool, there's piranhas in the water. Alright, grabbing weapons. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go and grab a fucking spear. Should have known better. That was on me. I guess it's about time I made my own firearms and stuff. I've been kind of neglecting it because I've been busy. We don't have any. We don't have enough wood because we've been using every piece of material for fucking foundations. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, because I'm carrying everything. Sorry about that. I had a sneeze. Oh, I, I could do shotgun. Haha, <laughs> crossbows. I don't think we actually have uh, shotgun shells. We don't usually make shotgun shells, I don't think. I will leave these in here. I think we have like 300 narcotics. There we go. Okay, spear, shotgun. I'll we'll have the firearms for the shot. I swear we had shotgun ammo. Here, I could probably make some. <clears throat> Ball bearings. Do I not have? Ooh. 
How do I unlock shotgun rounds? I did not. God damn it. I swear that mod fucked me up. Alright, well. I have a shotgun. I don't have rounds for it. I'll have Vlad go make me some. Oh. And uh, I'll figure it out. Let's go kill some piranhas. Come on, you fucks. I know you're in here. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. You guys are... Fucking me. Okay, cool. That hurt. Mistakes were made. I'm gonna stand here and heal. I forgot my melee damage is absolutely trash. Maybe the other one will come over here. Come on. I've got juicy bits. Come and eat me. Come on. <clears throat> I know you want to. I literally can't do anything while you're still in here. Where the fuck did it go? I love how it's gonna make me fucking go out there. Oh, God, that's terrible. I wonder if that was the only one. Let's find out. Okay, cool. Melee damage needs to go up. I don't know why I didn't just turn to the firearm and just, you know, fucking shoot the son of a bitch. But hey, it's dead now, so it's not my problem. I'm gonna pick these up. Yeah, get the foundations out from underneath them. Oh shit. Well, that happened. Oh, I had to repair them. I just destroy. They fucked up the fucking foundation? Wow, interesting. <clears throat> I'll just. Drop it. Yep. Some spots will be missing, but that's fine. It was bound to happen. <clears throat> I'm 
okay with it. They can't be perfect. We got to make EDs before I fucking streamed. Because I'm a fat boy. I've been, I'm, I'm eating healthier, but I mean, it's, just, it's, it's a fucking process. I'm not trying to ruin my life. I like to enjoy myself sometimes. Though I will admit, every fucking time I go to that McDonald's down, down my street this late at night, I get one person. And that person is always, always without a fail, the most rude person I've ever met. She'll like cut you off mid-sentence, just be like hella attitude, and just be like, what do you want? Like, it's like, she talks like she doesn't want to be there, which is really fucking irritating. Because you're there to take my fucking order, and you're giving me attitude. And she's always like that. She is. Every single time I go up there, she's always like that. Huh. Huh. Wow. <clears throat> 126. Those high levels do not play around. You probably just crank this up to ascend it. There you guys are. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering what's going on. Yeah. We're kind of waiting. <laughs> yeah. I made a shotgun, but I don't have shotgun rounds. I thought I had the Ingram unlocked, but apparently I didn't. I also had to kill a raptor and two fucking uh, piranhas, which I forgot my melee skill is almost non-existent because I didn't put weight, I didn't put any power into it at all. <clears throat> It's fine. <clears throat> I'll fix it later in the next couple levels. I'll jump it up like 200. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, I'm fucked. There was a third one. Yep. yep. There was a third piranha. Cool. I knew there was one more. This means you're popular. <clears throat> Yeah, it's wonderful. I know, I, I knew that was just my luck. I thought it was clear. I, I would like to point out, I killed two piranhas and went around and dropped 30 foundations and not a single bad thing happened to me while I was doing that. But the second I go back, it comes and eats me. I would like to go get it, but I can't. Can I get my stuff? You have a beaver. Make a beaver call the fish. I, oh, that's right. Well, that was fast. Yeah, I'm not wearing any armor. I have 100 hit points. Oh, cool. I am on timer. Where's the other bed? Oh, there it goes. I forgot about the beaver. Come here! It's okay, edit then, because I had to kill piranhas earlier. I got the whole game without this issue. Like all last stream, I didn't. And look at you now, you get piranhas. Thank you. 
It was pretty fun. Alright, killed a 120. Where's the 139 that was fucking up all day? I'm doing poorly at this. Alright, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Can you stop? Here. Because I am shit at fucking fighting these things. You can go and deal with it. If they attack me while I'm doing this, you can go and drop them. It was terrible. I need new equipment. By the way, I upped the uh, gathering rate for reasons because, you know, you think you need 3,000 fucking foundations. <laughs> Not my fault. Is 100% your fault. Right now, I'm freezing my ass off getting silica pearls so I can breed RGs. So we have two extra decent RGs for when bullshit does happen. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, is there any, any anything here that wants to eat me? Yeah, I was gonna make scuba gear, then I remembered that's not until 81. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hush, piggy. I would like to point out that I was very thankful that you did all those foundations, but I still don't think it's enough. No, it's probably not. I was joking when I said I needed like 500, but I actually think I do. I mean, is this your own creation or are you doing this off of somebody's guide? Oh no, this is my own creation. Mm. Sounds very ambitious. It is. <laughs> I gotta change the shape of it a bit, but I'll do that once I get the foundation laid out and it's mostly on the outside. Sounds like a wonderful pain in the ass. It is. Bertie, I just want you to know it's cold in the water. Yeah. Just watch me like why are you swimming in the water, dumbass? I think that was the last of the foundations. No it wasn't. I had to cut this in half. I mean it was like a hundred and nine. Yeah, it was now a... we have like no stone, no wood, nope. nothing. We got thatch. Yeah, we got a ton of thatch. Oh, thirty two left. It's still it's definitely not gonna be enough. Because, uh, unfortunately, the deeper I go in, the more, like, I have to put down the, the more flooring I have to put down, so that it will let me do the top piece. Yeah. And, of course, I could go and just leave gaps in certain places, but it just doesn't feel right. 
Which will probably also cause me It'll probably also cause me problems later in the game. Yeah. Really? Yep, that was the last of it. Alright. Ow! What the hell? Oh, fire. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for yeah, daytime. I'm in mosh pit, so I don't care. Hmm. Thought you were. Yeah, I had to get silica pearls. Oh, Diego left me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, crackers been like that all day. <laughs> yeah, I gave you all the love yesterday. No, he's been mad at me. I had uh. to give him his medicine. And I can't <laughs> mix it with anything because he doesn't like anything. So I had to like crush up his steroid and put it in with his antibiotic. And then like squirt it down his throat and he doesn't like it. Mm-hmm. I did go over his blood work though, because I had an, all that information. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Until so you read and be like, oh yeah, this can also be caused by stress from being like, restrained. And I'm like, yeah, go figure the cat being restrained. Who would have guessed? I definitely gonna need a lot more stone. Shit. I'm wondering if we maybe we'll get him that like paste, you know that paste thing that you didn't like, that cat. I don't know what it's called. Those lickum treats or whatever you call them. They come yeah, in a I'll probably have to. I don't. I'll probably have to buy on some like gravy from work or something. Uh, oh, because I had a little bit of money and it helped keep my <laughs> mind busy. I bought a couple of cards, Josh. If you'll love them. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, I'll give TCG uh, player one thing, one thing only. They have things in stock, and they have cards for like three cents. Nice. So I only, I only, uh, only improved one deck, and that's the one you love the most. So we all know how much everybody likes me making them mill. So I improved the mill deck. Yay. Yeah, I know it's great. I found, I found a Jace for like a dollar. <laughs> You know, the make you mill 15, yeah, that Jason. Ew. Yeah. Um, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I, I got Anna, Anna Wan for, like, uh, five cents. Hmm. Because what's better than you milling every time I smack you with a rogue for damage dealt? Penelope. Um, there, there's another one that's, uh, I tap X. And I call a color, and you f uh, mill a card for each time I call it uh, paid X, and I get uh, a 1-1 one, one rogue for every time you uh, mill the, uh, cre a card of that color. Oh, that's rude. Yeah, especially since Brad mainly plays mono black. And then because Anne, every one of those 1-1 one, one rogues become a 2-2 two, two rogue, and then when they attack, you know... More mill. It's more milling. We like mm -hmm. milling. Yeah. Because, you know, it wasn't aggressive enough milling last time. <sighs> and we'll get to watch Bradley get his, uh... He might surprise me. He might do good against Richard. Or he might get his ass kicked. We'll see. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the shape of the foundation. I'm getting oil. I 
there's so many penguins, if only I had a baseball bat. Uh. The great penguin beatings. We're gonna move that section over and widen it. I'm gonna fucking <laughs> increase the distance on that and wanna move it over a tiny bit. Maybe move Mari's on this. Yeah. Yeah. Playing it right now. Yeah. Oh. Yep, she's uh, doing the DLC that she got for Christmas. Is that on my list of games to buy? Is it on your game, your list of games to buy? I put Raft on my list of games to buy so I can harass you in that. Yeah, let me know. And it, uh, I'm waiting for it to go on a sale. And we'll see. I, I kind of have to be aggressive with saving money. Yeah, I do too. The, the vet was painful. Yeah, I got more games to do. Watch Nicole cry as we both say we're moving. Because <laughs> it wasn't gonna be, it wasn't bad enough with just me doing it, but now I'm bringing you with me, so now it's this. Everybody gets to cry. Yeah, I was about to say, we do you want to be like, oh, Nicole, I'm leaving, and then w have me wait a week, and then say the same <laughs> thing? No, nah, I'm just gonna look at, and walk up to her one day, especially if we keep Brick and Blade. Nicole, I can't handle Brooke no more. I'm leaving. Then I'm going to be like, all right, Josh, I told her. You can go tell her now. <laughs> <laughs> so if Brian has the knowledge and knowing that we literally left because of Brooke, even though it had nothing to do with the move. But I think it's more fun. Also, do you have a rough idea how much crystal you need? I think we're at eight or nine stacks now. Crystal for uh, the greenhouse? I have no idea. Hold on. Let me look. Um, oops, wrong button. Uh, I think I have, I don't even have it unlocked yet, so you, uh, it's like the next thing I'll focus on unlocking once I hit the levels. Sorry, you just literally came in, are you, are you really just coming in here for me to scratch you, and then you eat the food and drink the water, then haul ass, is that, is that the goal? Let's see. <laughs> I'm looking at about, at most, 35 crystal per panel, it looks like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna make it pretty okay, at, at least two or three watch watt high. Watch your tail. And I'll probably use slant Sir. it. Sir, you want back in? Is it cold out there? You don't like it? Uh, how much? How many are in each stack? Two hundred. Two hundred? Yeah, that sounds about right. Nine stacks should do it. If I need more at that point, I'll fucking. Go grab more. Well, yeah, the problem is I was already up at the mountain today. And there's like no crystal up there. So apparently crystal takes a little bit of time to respawn. I think metal and crystal and obsidian takes the longest. Oops. I have to climb back up. Seven stacks of oil. Seven, uh, like eight stacks of oil I have at home. Nice. I, I think I just collected all the wood we're gonna need. Well, for now, I'm gonna make a, like another hundred foundations. But okay. don't y'all y'all just y'all just do y'all. Don't don't mind me. I just I just want to loot this. Ah, uh, so we're low on like cooked meat but we do have a bunch of jerky you know why we're low on cooked meat why because neither one of us dumbasses put fucking spark powder ah. in the thing yesterday well i didn't hey hey, hey hey that that was mine i didn't because i was like oh vlad will be on so i don't have to worry about like feeding ah. the dinos or anything ah. Ah. problems danger robinson <laughs> Chicken! We gotta go! Chicken! What are you afraid of a chicken for? I ain't afraid of the damn chicken, I'm afraid of Pumbaa. Ah, oh, Pumbaa just pushed me off the fucking cliff. Oh, well, I just saw you die. Ah, <laughs> uh, fucking, that's such a long fucking flight. 
Hopefully I make it before the bird dies. You'll know if it does. What level was it? The high level one? Yeah, it's one of the high level ones. It might survive. It's usually pretty good at killing. Yeah, I don't remember what it was set to because it was just fucking sitting oh. on the ground and I haven't changed their uh, settings. No, they all should be on neutral. I put them all on neutral yesterday because of our issue with the... Oh, this would be a cold fucking ride too because I don't have my fair armor anymore. Mm -hmm. okay. I think I'm more worried about the fact that bird has all my silica pearls. Uh -oh. I had to call the RG over because I fell down a fucking hole. I got pushed off the mountain. And I couldn't get back up. Alright. Oh, no wonder you're you're carrying like a ton of weight and I was confused. Okay, never mind. I mean it's still like nine hundred wood. Yeah, it's it's gross. I think I'll just collect stone more than wood because I think I'm good on wood. Got like almost three stacks. I won't be using you again though. You've got too much crap on you already. Well, since each foundation takes forty uh, wood. I should just do the Fly math for it. I fucking hate so slow RG's fly. Oh, I'm doing the math or something. Also, make sure you guys can't see my home screen because I will get monetized for that. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to collect like 8,000 wood, because that should be about 200 foundations worth. Ugh. I'm at 4,000, I think. Go, Beaver, go! Don't yes, fall off the cliff. I fucking hate RGs. You love RGs. They just don't have high flying Not speed. Not when I'm trying to go somewhere before something dies. I have to fly through the cold. I don't have any more fur gear because I have the fur gear on. Ah. And the RG flies at the speed of a fucking snail. Yep. Shut up, Tron. But she loves you. I've been listening to her and the other cat all damn day. I'm tired of hearing them. Oh cool, now it's a fucking snowstorm. <laughs> it's raining over here. Yeah, it's a fucking snowstorm. Okay, we're out of the snowy shit, okay? Thank you. Can we get a fucking weather change? No, because it's snowing here too. I'm like right outside the volcano. Like, how the fuck do you mean I'm cold? You gotta go inside the volcano. Yeah, this dumbass RG might land in the fucking lava. Of zero food because we don't have any food at home. 
I mean, committing a genocide will fix that. Well, I was doing that on the, you know, RG that I'm trying to get to. That is a, a challenge. Yeah. Let's safe here. Can I pick some berries? I need some berries. No, not that one. Oh, look, there's a crystals. I need, I, I need crystals, but, you know, I can't get those. That was probably a bad phrase to say because I'm pretty certain that's what the Germans were saying back in World War II. What? Uh, a genocide would solve all their problems. Oh. Well, you're the one that get monetized, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Can this fucking rain stop? Yeah. Serana, what are you doing back there, you moron? Oh. Uh, well, I got spilled drink on me. Yo, it was like right on my nipple, so it's cold. <laughs> I don't like it. That looks like that's gonna eat me, but we gotta pick some fucking food. Not fiber, for the love of Christ. Not you stem berries either. You eat your fiber, you enjoy it. I'm gonna drop the fiber because fuck the fiber. I'm gonna drop the stem berries because fuck the stem berries. Stem berries are actually pretty good for gaining food. They just get thirsty really yeah, quickly. They're not good for hydration. And that's kind of problematic. Okay, now we can gain some health. Well, let's fly somewhere to get more food where there's not a dickheaded ass car now. Yeah, I see you over there, dickhead. Go get more wood. I'm about 5,000. I'm gonna get like three more rows. That should do it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do the stone. The stone is harder because I... Unless I take the de uh, dodecarus to a mountain and then have like a transport system, it's it's really slow going because I have limited stone over here. Surprisingly. I mean, you, a you can uh, pick it up with the RG and just like fly it next to the rock and it'll still break the stone. Oh really? Well, I knew that much, but I didn't know how viable that was. Like if it collected less, but I didn't think it would. Click this based off of this damage. It's not my favorite thing to do, but it also makes it to where like you can just go to tight areas and just fly the RG through. Yeah. Oh yes, game. I really, I really want to eat some Marco berries because you know, permanent sleep last time wasn't good enough. Let's just have a temporary sleep. Why am I here two, outside three. a mosh pit? One, two, three, four. So, third, twenty-one, something like that. Twenty. Uh, probably close to thirty. I'll do one more pass. Okay, at least it's daytime, so it won't be as cold. I hope. Lies. It'll be freezing. Can I just make a torch? Is there enough shit here for A campfire is usually the answer, I think. I can't carry a campfire while flying. That's, that's oh yeah, that's true. That's I, I thought you meant like... Wood. wood, damn it, not thatch, thank you. Nope, this, in this case, I need, um... Torch, so I can keep my ass warm. Don't fall, you bitch. No. Flint, not, not not metal. Flint, thank you. Buy metal. It seems sacrilege to just drop metal like that. Yeah, that's that causes me stress. I'm not worried.
worried about your stress. You should be worried about my stress. My stress is important. Also, uh, I don't know if Irene has actually got enough points to get fired or if they're just going to remove him like last time. Because he was still working today. Though I did tell Ricardo, I was like, hey, I heard that he's got like five and a half points. So we'll see. Knowing his luck, he'll probably I mean, just talk his way out of it. SimC literally like came in, clocked in, worked for four minutes, clocked out, and never told anybody. That should automatically be yeah. I would a, a termination. I would have terminated him as a boss if he did that in my job. I would have preferred if he didn't show up and just lie and say it was an emergency. Yep, which is probably what he's. I had a family emergency. I had to go home, and then, you know. Like, oh, okay, it's fine. Parking lot got cleaned anyways because, you know, Chris just hurt, took his vest off, took his uh, hoodie off because he was fucking sweating when it was fucking cold. And that's a fucking problem. Yeah. I don't like working hard enough to where I start sweating when it's cold, okay? I just got rained on yesterday. It's supposed to rain on the weekend too. Yes. So. I'm getting a ride yeah. now. Hopefully, hopefully we have K tomorrow. I'm hoping so too. I've had, I, I don't know, because I've had him and Keon for the last two days. So I'm kind of worried that they don't have him on the weekends. No, see, you have to take into account that tomorrow starts a new work week for us. Ah, yes. By the way, this torch is not keeping me warm in the slightest, but that's probably more to do with I'm naked than anything. Probably. <laughs> That'd probably do it. Okay, my RG is still alive. Yeah, I, I thought so. I'd tell you if he died. Okay. Stop. Stop playing. Hey, sir. Hey. Fuck that pig. Hey! Look, if you don't leave that damn pig alone, I'm gonna pick it up and eat it off the cliff. <laughs> Never mind, it eat it itself off the cliff. What do we? Y'all are by my body. I kind of, I, I kind of need that. So you know what? I don't know. If there's anybody out here that's hungry for bacon, but if there's any megalodons around, you can have a pig. Mmm, bacon, yum. This, this is my solution. I'll just throw it off the mountain and let somebody else deal with it. Yep. Sma uh, solves all my okay. problems. Alright. I'm gonna keep okay. doing this until I got like 40 fucking rows or. No, I'm gonna do double stone. I'm gonna do a whole box of stone. Not in my luck. Oh god. Okay. Let's equip this so I put dying to cold. Let's drop this. Don't need that. <laughs> I just pooped. Birdie! Come never. here. That never gets old. I'm stuck in a hole. Come here. Okay, other birdie. Let's get out of here. Um, this birdie is getting its ass kicked. You ain't even get no level up, you dumbass bird. Okay, come on, birds. Let's go home. I'm tired of this frozen bullshit. Ooh, shiny red drop. Never mind. Let's get the red drop. Man, okay, where's the stupid bird? Come on! Go on home! I'm name that bird. The, the, stupid. the only thing in this base, in this woods, is a fucking dodo. So, it's the only thing I've seen so okay, far in the game. Here? Anything over here that scares me? No? Okay. Well, while we wait for this, you stay here. Don't you look at me like that, you damn penguin. Uh, you're lucky I don't need organic polymer right now. Or you'd be in a world of fucking trouble. <laughs> y'all and just have a penguin killing chamber i don't know why i can you do that i mean it's very time consuming and tedious so it's probably not the best but then again they already have a hellaciously long respawn rate so 
Well, I'm about to say, because I know, like, the baby penguins give you the most. Uh, which... I don't know, again, I don't know what sick fuck made it that way. <laughs> but they deserve to go somewhere. In a deep hole, because that was really fucked up. It also gives you... They also... The babies also gives you prime meat, so... That kind of makes it worse. Three more casual stacks of uh, crystal. Oh. <gasps> yeah, I want to say. Wanna go work yeah, you do. You know what? I'm bored. Pick up a penguin. Drop a penguin in the ocean. If I gotta be wet, you gotta be wet. Cough, cough. I feel I feel a little sick. I don't think I don't think I can make it tomorrow. No. If you want to, if you really want that, go hang out with Zach because he's apparently got a sore throat. Oh, Zach, yeah, he got sick from working in the rain and not listening to me. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, uh, so uh, yesterday, uh, had, well, technically Thursday was pouring, like misting all day, so it was like not rain raining, but it was like wet enough that it, I was getting soaked. And a lady in a truck decided that she was gonna stop halfway out of a parking spot and then just sit there. And I was like, I had a line, a cart, a line of carts that I was trying to like go forward with. And she was like, she had her daughter like wave her hand out the window. So I like walked up to the car. I was like, do you need to back up more? Cause I was like kind of irritated. And they're like, handed me a, a uh, an emergency poncho and said, stay dry. And I'm like, eh. And I fucking. Told him to get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> so there's an emergency poncho in the back. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I was like, if you had been like kept going, I would have been less wet than just standing here waiting for you to move. Um, but there's an emergency poncho in the break uh, in the grocery side bay now that no one's touched yet. Cause nobody but me likes them. <clears throat> Well, it was like, I felt like it was useless because, one, I was already drenched to the bone, so there's no fucking point. I was already, I was already, I've been out there for like two hours at that point, and it was just constantly, like, misting and raining. Uh, and I also knew after nine, it would just stop. So I was like, that's fine. Yeah, I don't know if I should have felt bad or not, but I did not feel bad at all. Nah, normally don't feel bad. It's only their fault. People standing in the way when it's raining, making it where I can't go by to get dry, piss me off. Yeah. I mean, it was a nice gesture, but I just wish you just drove forward. And let me be on my way. Oh, and, uh, funny story, I was, uh, when I was biking home tonight, I crossed the road to go on the left-hand side, um, because that's what I always do, because it's just a straight shot straight down to the house through Firestone after I do that, and I, I, I did the crossing, I had sat, uh, I was, and I, uh, was riding the bike through the bike lane on the other side. And I went in like a hundred yards. I was like, I was on that side for a minute. And some, like, I don't know what his fucking problem is or what happened. But this, like, jackass in a car decided that my fucking park lane, uh, the bike lane, was just his fucking lane. Because he almost ran me straight off the fucking road. Sounds about right. Like, he, like, went, it was like he went out of his way to get out of lane into the bike lane. As close to the sidewalk as physically possible to almost run me over. And I had to, like, stop what I was doing and jerk the bike to the left just to fucking avoid him from fucking hitting me. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that happened. That's right. People are dumb as fuck. 
Yeah, it was like late at night, like on my way home tonight. It's like it was so weird because I was like it made it seem like he like was doing it on purpose like he was trying to hit me and I was like oh wow I'm gonna die today because I'm going like 15 miles an hour you're going like 30 if we hit if I hit you head on I'm going through your windshield I'm breaking probably both my legs he better hope I died if he hit me because if I wasn't I'm gonna fucking murder the motherfucker. <laughs> I would have been, like sue him. <laughs> I would have I would have climbed out of his car through his passenger side, then dragged him out through the pa driver's side and beat his fucking ass afterwards. No, it was it was great. It, I love good great surprises like that. Like it didn't help at all. Like. It, it, he was he there was so much time between when I switched over to the other side to when he tried to do that Like it was like a hundred yards. I had like a like I was going forward for like a hundred yards before he even like got to me And he was just like there was no excuse. He wasn't trying to I didn't like cut in front of him or anything He just felt like hey, I'm just gonna get as close to this guy on a bike on a bike lane as quick possible without fucking probably hitting him and saying what he would do Also, I have a light for the bike, but for some reason, when the bi uh, when the light is screwed into place, uh, it does not do what it's supposed to do. Um, because for some reason, when it's screwed into place and I turn it on, uh, it does the bat signal. Um, it just shines in the fucking sky and does nothing to illuminate my path forward. And I'm not sure why that's that way. I think it's just poor design. Guy, man. I, I well I tried it Thursday and I was like I like I, I turned it on and I start biking and I was like I can't where's the light and I happen to look up and it's just just I see a spotlight through the tree leaves and I'm like okay turning this off it's useless But yeah, I still have not figured out how to get it to go full electric mode instead of pedal assist mode for some reason. Hmm. I'm tempted to just turn off the pedal assist and see if it'll let me play with the fucking throttle without it on and see what happens. I, I don't really care if it doesn't work that way. If it just maxes out the highest pedal assist mode, that's fine too because I still get like, still get to work in like 20 minutes. Do not drop. Do not drop everything, you jackass. Cool. I'm gonna give you back your berries, so you're a happy boy. Then we're gonna go put this blueprint up. We're gonna need another blueprint ca uh, storage container soon. I I don't know why, but it it like I'm assuming you put the loot boxes on like max so you get the good uh, the best rewards, but it always seems like the same items too. Seems really like restrictive. I don't know why. I said everything is funny or did it, just exception of because of the Gmail server, we have 180 max level. Which means that if we get a max level tame and we breed and all that, if we get max level 357. Yeah. That was delayed. That was weird. More stone! Hi, buddy. What you doing out here on the pillow? Huh? 
white, you fluffy, bright monster. Diego's hiding somewhere else. He's not in the shot no more. Why'd you scare the cat away? I didn't. He just likes to move other places. I'm surprised he's not behind me. He usually, uh, like, way later, he'll probably show up and be like, C Time for bed. Probably. Like he was last night. He was just, like, s like screaming in my face. For like the last half hour of the stream. I think it's, well it's, I know why he does it. It's because he's used to me sleeping at like 3 or 4. So when it gets close to 3 or 4 he'll like start like getting ready. Yep. Because he won't go to bed otherwise. He legitimately will just wait and then as soon as I go to bed he'll like sit by my head and then like wait and then pass the fuck out ever since I moved he's been so much needier but I think he's always been like that I think he just had to fight the other cats for dominance yeah. And Lawrence didn't feel good, so he stayed home. And he was saying that Nerfridi was like, like nibbling his earlobe the whole time. He was trying to sleep. Yeah. to work anyways. Wrong box. Yeah, I didn't know if you were going to play tonight or not. If you weren't, I was going to do Satisfactory. I'm going to get back into that eventually, but I'm probably going to do it way later date because we're grinding the hell out of this. Is it time to move somewhere else? Have I dug through all the stone out of here? That's a good idea. I don't like this base location. Let's move somewhere else. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I could have just had him in my inventory. It would be really upsetting if you're like, hey, I finished the base, and you're like, hey, we're moving. I'd keep it still. I would never destroy it all. Like the good friend that I am. Come on, Ankly. Hit the rock. What the hell is making those stomping noises? Huh. Nobody knows. Okay, he doesn't like certain rocks. Got it. Why aren't you doing the thing? Oh, maybe you're full. That's probably why, actually. Hold on, let me set you down. I forget all I'm seeing is uh, RG's inventory and not his. He wasn't, but I guess he stops at a certain point. Screw your self-preservation. Go pick up more rocks. You're being carried. I don't think he cares. I care. 
You have a job to do. Who cares about what you care? Not many people, surprisingly. Exactly. I'm sure Brooke does. No, she doesn't. Oh, sit down. Thank you. Gosh, when the work doesn't want to do it, I'll have to do it myself. There we go. Much better. That does, he does stop at a certain point. That's interesting. Ow. Hey, RG. Come on, then. I love how I'm getting attacked and my RG's 20 feet away from me and just doing absolutely nothing about it. You know why? Because it's loyal to me. Hold on, which RG did you take? Did you take the the one... Here, crap RG? Uh, 144? So it's very interesting. I didn't know about that. So he will stop at a certain point, usually when he's just about full. I'm not sure who leveled up. Probably the Dodicris. Yes, it was the Dodicris. I need you to hold more weight, bud. Why? Because I need an egg. Four. What are you doing with the eggs, bro? What egg do I have in here? I don't need an RG egg. I need an Anki egg. Are you trying to make kibble? Yes. Ah. Better right. grab my other RG. Come here, pimp. 66 out of 90, I will... Oh, even the Argitavis leveled up. How interesting. Come here, Argy. I'm gonna give you max increase weight. Hold on, I have to go kill something because she's hungry. Yeah, try it, Argy. Yeah, okay how happy the bell Argy is. Yay, I'm gonna get laid. Careful, y'all can't do this on stream as you, as you will get in trouble. There we go. What do I feel like this is gonna take forever? It will. I don't know what you have the breeding set to, but it might take forever. Whatever Flinger has a set to, maybe I need to not follow his settings because I feel like he has more time to stay here than I do. I, I was about to say, I think Flinger does have more time to do that. Got a generator. Okay, we need one of these. It's the same with like. One, two, three, four. I start following like Blueprint and Wildem and uh, all the Rust players that I usually watch on YouTube on Twitch, and it made me realize how fucking much they stream. Um, because Blueprint was doing when I did it. Blueprint was doing like a stream, and it was like it was his 24/7 stream. So he was in like. It was like a solid like 16 hours into it and I was like, God fucking Christ. And he was doing a giveaway stream. So it was like all his, all the, all the big streamer guys for us that I just followed. I can't imagine play, streaming that much. I don't, I mean, I've done it once on the Halloween stream, but that's, that's a lot. Yeah. 
Rust makes sense though, because your Rust is so grindy. You could play it for 16 hours and get nowhere, almost. You done kicking stones? Looks like it, yeah. Oh, I need him. He's full of rocks. Yeah, I know. Hey, that's actually a perfect amount. He grabs just about two st- uh... Interesting. I didn't know that. Let's go, buddy. Curious, are these rocks hittable? Nope. Poor rocks. What are these? As he's heating up rocks. Now I don't know, uh I think S mod does this, so it's easier on S mod, but I know Ascended also fixed it. But one of my biggest gripes about this game was that there was no terrain manipulation, so you couldn't just build anywhere. Uh, I know the Ascendant mod fixes that where you like you can actually raise and lower the foundation, so it makes it easier. And S mod kind of does the same thing, sort of. But uh, I really wish they did like a terrain manipulation. It's usually my biggest gripe about certain games like this. Like I can't change the terrain around me, so it kind of restricts what I can build. One. Thank you, Doge okay, Chris. How about this? Will you, will you kick this? Nope, he's done. Diego! Big stretch, boy! It's crazy how many materials this takes. I'm just basically filling the box until it's maxed. And then I'm gonna go and build as many foundations as I can. I'm at 85. It fill, every rotation fills about two stacks, which isn't that bad. Should have carried him fucking forever ago. I totally forgot that was a thing I can do with the Yargy and the Dodacris and the other dinos when you gather them. Use them as gathering resources. Because it's been so long. Diego, I can't see, bud. Stop saying hi to everybody. Go lay down. I love you too, bud. That's that's not by. You're you're kinda in my way, bud. Get the fucking rock to Dickerus. You goddamn. Thank you. Oh, 
sometimes you're just a hit and miss, but uh, there he goes. He goes to lay down. It reminds me I gotta get their flea meds and uh, to eventually take them to the vet. Just to make sure that I know Diego should be good. He should be up to date, but I want to make sure. Because I think I did his yearly already. Because his was the first one I always I do. But uh, I definitely do got to get Nefridi checked out. Because she's definitely probably got some issues I haven't fucking fixed. That'll be the next big thing I fucking pay for. The electric bike kind of came. Yeah. Okay, so you'll hit certain rocks, but not other rocks. It's good to know. I love how selective he is on rock hitting. Cool, is that another raptor in there, by the way? Yes, it is. No, it's a tech parasaur. I'll fix that. This way. This should be the last rotation. Which is perfect, because it's getting dark. Oh, that was it. That filled the whole box. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna grab these last three and make them my first operation. I, uh, before I do that, though, I'm gonna use the restroom. So I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Come back. Someone so young has so many uh, problems. Good. I'm just fishing. I'm hanging out with Stitch. Hanging out with Stitch. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm back. <sighs> By the way, speaking of Stitch, I know two things. Uh -huh. They're doing an anime version of Stitch, Lee Alone Stitch, and they're doing a live action oh. version. Oh. Yeah, we know everybody bitches about the live action. I don't well, know. It's gonna uh, be scary if that's live action. I'm about to say, Stitch looks terrifying. I will just say that right now. <laughs> Stitch is terrifying looking. Uh, He's not uh, adorable. He's not fluffy. He looks like a monster. He looks uh, like. Which, uh, to be all honesty, that would make sense because Stitch was a monster in the movie, original movie. Like, he was supposed to be a monster. And he was supposed to look and act like a monster, so it made sense that he looks like that. I think everyone I forgets that. That parents are going to take their kids and then the kids are going to get traumatized. Yeah, yeah. Ruin, ent <laughs> <laughs> Ruin an entire generation. <laughs> It's great. Yeah. <laughs> the anime one is the one I'm interested in. Oh, okay, yeah. 
That sounds cool. Love Stitch. What else? I mean, I'll give them points. Apparently, the live action One Piece is really good. Hmm. So, I guess sometimes they do get it right. Because everyone's lost their mind over how good it is. They're also doing a live action uh, Avatar The Last Airbender again. Um, though I will say that what they have shown looks so much better than the last one that I actually kind of have hopes for it. Ooh. Like Aang looks like Aang, Zuko <laughs> looks like Zuko, and Iroh looks like Iroh. And I'm like, oh cool, they all look normal. <laughs> they all have their names like I think that. yeah yeah I think Something they else. yeah I think they still have, they, they have all their names and stuff I don't know um the last time they tried that it ended so poorly I think people are still on the fence about it yep it was really bad yeah it was it it's time. it's so bad that it's right up there with the Dragon Ball Z uh live action mm. Which most people do not acknowledge. Uh. Yeah, it makes me wonder if they're gonna start uh, if they're gonna redo the Dragon Ball Z uh, live action or at least try it again. Yeah. You gotta get the right director and people to do it. Yeah, please don't make Piccolo look so stupid. <laughs> I mean, like, I know, if I remember right, the actual live-action Dragon Ball they did was a legitimate, like, adaptation. It wasn't actually, like, based off of the actual show because it was, like, completely had nothing to do with the actual anime plotline. Um, it was terrible. That's all I remember. <laughs> And I didn't even watch the whole thing. I watched part of it. And they're like, yeah, no. <laughs> um. Hey, y'all, Freedy's gonna have to wait till later. Sorry. What's going on? Um, it's slow. I don't like it. <laughs> Did you not tweak the settings? And uh, they probably need to get tweak the settings better. I followed Flingers, and I just don't. I don't feel like sitting here for like an hour and a half reading two RGs because then I can't use it. Yeah, I always I always tweak his settings just a tad bit because I I usually play by myself, so I'm like, ah, uh, this is great as a starter option, but this is not. Also, I think his settings are old. I can just cheat and click single, but click the single player button. Yeah. Just checking the time. You can't go to sleep until you have that damn hole that you wanted to fill, fill, damn it. That's gonna take at least two more days. Better, ass better be up for the next 48 hours outside of going to work. <laughs> No, uh, I know in the morning I'm gonna go back to working on D&D stuff. I am organizing... Look at, look at me, I have an industrial forge, I have an AC system, I have a refrigerator, I have a fabricator. I did not see the AC system, actually. I have an industrial grill. That's so Plus advanced. Shit up here. Yeah, I know, I see that. Can't stand on the damn uh, foundations because it's hot. All right. Yeah, this should get me to the next level. I'll probably focus on the greenhouse stuff since I'm almost done with the foundations. Because it'll be the next thing I do. I do have to move around some of the foundations to like even it out. Because I want to make it kind of like a circle. But I'm I'm not... I don't know how the triangle foundations work. So I'll have to like either play with those. Or just kind of get the square ones to look somewhat close to 
Correct. Awesome. That's uh, this is the best part of the game. Is me building stuff. I'm tired. I know for a fact if I get off right now, I'm gonna lay down in bed and stare at the ceiling for two fucking hours. I don't understand that. I guess I need to send you stuff for a while so you can figure out what class you want to be. If you're going to play with us, you have to do with Linus though because you can't do the cool thing on classic well, it's only in retail. Oh, in really? Retail, you can be a little midget goblin. Yeah. That's sad. Back in the day, they were all about uh, factional PvP. So yeah, I figured. Horde hated Alliance, which made no sense because you literally. It makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. Maybe I'll send you the adaptations of the books because they're funny to listen to because the guy that does it is just fucking hilarious. Oh, yeah. I tried listening to the lore, but there's so much going on. You gotta listen to somebody that makes it entertaining because they just fucking read it out of the book. It's a uh, dick in the mud. But yeah, there's a lot of lore. Yeah, I got through like a couple episodes of one guy and I was just like, oh, this is great. Yeah, I know. I I probably when I get paid, I gotta do, uh, probably get a subscription for it so I can play the game, and then I can play around with it. I have classic and the the regular one, but I haven't bought the DLC for the new one, new section, because it's expensive. I don't even know which one that a base game is right now. I don't know if it's you get base game comes with Dragonflight or base game it comes with yeah. uh, Shadowland. I'll find out it's when I play around with it. But, uh. I guess I could murder a turtle. Yeah, to speed up the life for us, I might turn on single player and do the breeding. I don't know. Single player is kind of the weird one. It well, will it's. Speed up things a lot. Yeah, see, well, that's what it's meant to do is like if you're playing in like small tribes or single player, I think single putting on single player actually would help us a bit because we it's meant for a couple people. Like if you're playing in small groups, really, Dillo, you're gonna come here. I'm tanking two turtles and you want to come here and act stupid. Also, I might be going, don't come over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you home and we're gonna. How am I gonna knock you out? Never mind. <laughs> Did it die? Actually, it's level 174. I need to bring you home so we can tame you because I can eat, make dodo kibble to make the breed uh, the other kibble that I need. Okay, where'd you go, dodo? Come here, it's hostile over here. It's a male dodo, so we can name it Law. That's terrible. What? You have to it's name raining dodos. You have to name it something useful. No. Iron? Oh, you said useful. I said useful, you yes. son of a I got confused, man. <laughs> okay, let's right. fly up high. Fly, 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 fly. Okay. Oh, by the way, Travers the rest had an update today. What's up? Travelers rest had an update. Yes, I saw that. I just uh, I just downloaded it. Cool. Do you want to know what it was? What? Well, it wasn't the Christmas event. Like I didn't think so. For. Yeah, I, I I went to I was gonna look after the stream to see if it was because I was gonna immediately switch over to that okay. for like two weeks. So it lo looks like it is. Um, well, you no longer have to unlock uh, cooking recipes. You just kind of know them. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Is, okay, I suppose. It sucks if you've already unlocked them all because you didn't get reimbursed for any of that oh, shit. Oh, wonderful. I'll just start over. <laughs> and now crops are seasonal. 
Ah. So you have to plan accordingly, and you have to water crops every three days. Ew! I lied to the fact I didn't have to do that. I've already got so much crap going on in my life. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Now you gotta water the crops every three days. That's annoying. And I don't know if you gotta make a watering can, buy a watering can, or get a watering can, but from just like loading into a already a previous save, it did nothing for me. Cool. I'll probably just restart it and uh, do it again. And it was a small update too. That was like the little, yes. little biggest changes. It's like eighty. It was like oh, eighty. They added, they added new things too, so now you can buy like almonds and shit. Okay. I kind of, I'm kind of upset about the recipe thing because I kind of enjoyed that. It felt progressive, like I was learning how to cook more as I played the game. Yeah, I kind of like picking and choosing. It's also like the gardening thing isn't in there anymore either, so they literally took out two skill trees and I didn't get reimbursed for that either and I had basically all that. Oh, that's gross. Alright, almost 100 foundations done. Oh, hold on, I gotta move over one inch. God forbid if I'm not exactly... Yep, there we go. Perfect. This is the fun part, yay! I also can carry about 50 foundations on me before I fucking get encumbered. Which is good to know. I have to wait for daytime anyway, so... Because I can't ever do this in the fucking dark. Hey, what do you need? Excuse me. Pinto berry. Narco, fiber, mijo... Narco, tinto berry seed, fiber, fiber. The funny thing is, it's okay, the foundation is going to be the thing that slows me down the most because as soon as I go to make the fucking stone walls, even the biggest ones that I've unlocked, it'll be so quick. Really, I got 99.5% taming off of you. That's, Hi, Dodo. That's funny. I don't know how I'm gonna tame you because I feel like if I shoot you with a dart, you're gonna die. Immediately, he just fucking croaks it. Stay away from the birds, man. They're gonna eat you. They're over there doing dumb things. God, I'm almost already half storage on the stones. You can't produce eggs. <laughs> Yet. Are you, are you like most lizards? Will you change your sex based off of what we need? Doubt it. Maybe if you ask nicely. You want a berry? Are you hungry? You want a berry? You want a berry? Shove it up his ass. Oh, I need more thatch. What a surprise. Thought I had enough. Did not. Surprise! That's fine. This is a good stopping point. I got uh, like 116 or something. I'll, uh, drop what I've made so far into the thingamajig and then grab a bunch of thatch. God. I know these horses, you mongoose. What's up? Uh, Vanellope's house that I have to build, it takes up a lot of space. Ah, <laughs> what a surprise. When you quit sw this isn't a dinosaur swimming pool, come here. Yeah. I'm trying to remember who Penelope is. She's the Wreck girl Ralph. in Wreck-It Ralph. Yes, that's who it is. I knew She's the name of it. She's princess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that her house takes up so much. Well, no, if it's the same house that she was in like when in the movie, it makes sense. Because I think she owned an entire warehouse. It's like the yeah, Big Candy Mountain. Thing. Yeah. 
It was like the entire yeah, it was an entire mountain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna fly you around and show you to all the other people that happen to be swimming in my swimming pool. There's a tech Parasaurian. I can hear it dying behind me. All I hear behind me is just death. Oh. Oh, I panic. Huh, interesting. Oh, uh, there's a duh. Okay. This little fuck just swimming around. And I accidentally laid a bunch of foundation down. I mean, that's fine. That works. Cool, I've hit the point where it takes three to get anything done, which means I'm going to need so much more. You're the one that wanted to fill the lake in, not build around it. I, I it would, it was a, it gives me so much space though. I could build the whole base on this. Oh look, a dead parasaur. <laughs> How surprising. Hold on, let me... Come on, bud. Oh, you're not dead? Hey, man. You want... You want oh, you are dead. There's another one. Cook prime meat. Okay, you're dying now. We don't want you that bad. There's so little... You're going, you're going to the dino swimming pool. The dinos? Well done, dinos. Can you not? I'm trying to do stuff inside that. Uh, what else can we put in there? I think I'm going to shove this Have shotgun RGs in there. will cause trouble. Alright. Uh, I know. Today we find out if a dodo is closer to a chicken or a duck. <laughs> I think it's a chicken. We're about to find out. I'm gonna add this row to this side. I'm slowly hoping that he doesn't log in one day to find out that I've managed to tame a Megalodon and stuck it in the lake so he can't build in it. Yeah, that would be kind of annoying. Put a Basilosaurus there. <laughs> God damn it. Can't fumigate the fucking house because that'd be fucking... That wouldn't solve my problem. No, because Jacob and Ch uh, Jacob was saying that it's like, yeah, we could do that, but it's just gonna problems gonna creep back up again. But they're not the ones living with it, so. Well, if they keep the house clean and take care of it, they don't have to worry about it creeping up on them again. Yeah. Because they're not the ones who constantly have to deal with this crap because I'm living right next to the fucking kitchen. Because you're living right next to the wall. Yeah. Um, I literally opened a random drawer when I was doing laundry on one of my drawers. And uh, there was just a, what I would call just a nest of roaches inside of it. And I was so shocked. I kind of just stood there and I just dumped the fucking... I dumped the fucking drawer and I just stared at all the fucking mess and I was like, this is something. And I was like, I didn't know what to do. I was just like staring at all of them fucking scurry away. And I'm just like, cool. I guess that I have to deal with that. And I hate it. Yeah, I hate it so fucking much. All I know is that I, like, if I move, I'm just going to... Throw all my shit outside and fucking hose the shit out of it. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I don't recommend hosing out your uh... PC. No, I'm gonna tear that bitch yeah. apart and spray it with fucking uh, airsoft to get everything out of it.
I just hate it because I'm such a clean freak. It's just so irritating because I don't have the actual. Hey, I, found, I found an island with a lot of rocks you can bring the dodecarus to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I just used a hundred and fucking twenty, and it got felt like I got nowhere. So nice. You should, you should come check out this rock island. You'll love it. It's nice. It's safe. It's full it of dinosaurs. Yeah, I was gonna say it's full of dinosaurs, isn't it? I know. I know that tone of Yo. voice. Yes, it has dinosaurs on it. They're cute and cuddly. No, they're not. Like they're... this guy. Yeah, he he has little horns on his head. Oh, a carno. Where where are you? I feel like you're gonna drop him on top of me. <laughs> I don't think I could pick a carno up. He's dead, by the way. So. Oh. You know what? Why I'm here, I can bring home a saber tooth. Let me find one. Please don't. Those scare me more than the Carnos do. Oh, I meant to pick somebody else up. Nope, not the beaver. Trying to pick up you. There we go. Yes, RG, let's shit on his head as we attack him because that's gonna make him real fucking happy as he's getting murdered. I wonder. That brings a that brings a whole new meaning to teabagging. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. Of, there's more rocks over here. Yeah, you'll like this island. Okay. Uh, strangely enough, uh, the deer do not collect stuff as you go. Also, I have to give you berries because you're starving. Here, I got you. I need you to die, sir. Thank you. There you go. An alpha, that could be a fucking problem. You're not an alpha, die. Okay. Dead. Godzilla has passed. Hold on, buddy. I'll open the door. Give me a minute. Let me land somewhere. Land on top of the rock. Alright, hold on, buddy. Come on, you're staying in here now. You gotta hang out with me, fucker. I have found the pet that Azzy wanted me to bring home. Hold on, I gotta No. Get it. Stop. Pet. Pet. Kitty. Oh, that's better. Pet kitty. There's a lot of rocks over here, man. You should definitely bring the dojo over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a lot of rocks over there. Big rock over there. It's like the worst spot on the planet, isn't it? It's an island. Uh huh. It's no. Kind of like Herbie Island, but not. Oh, you're on Carno Island, aren't you? Yes, yes I am. It's close and it has rocks, man. Isn't that what you were looking for? Nope. No. Why did you send me over here to go shopping? No, I didn't. I didn't send you over there at all. Yes, you did. I don't know why you're over there. I figured this is a convenient place with fast respawn rates for me to get hide and meat. True. He's getting all. Oh, I'm giving a full stack of thatch. So I don't ever have to do this again. Ooh, I know. I can bring home a giga. Bring that home. That'd be my pet. Yeah, good luck with that. I have full con. I have a full confidence you would die before you get to that point. That's impressive. Yeah. So it's a retarded amount of metal to build a cage. Then a retarded amount of patience. And you have to sit there for a millennia. Alright, I think that's enough. That should do it. 
I don't even know how many that is, but it's a lot. I love how I picked him up, and it, it's like a quarter. It's like one third of a quarter of my weight for my RD. I'm pretty certain I also can do the same thing. Hold on. Yep, I did even full. It's 8,184 thatch. Hell, I'm just going to keep this in my inventory. Yay, this is so much fun. I knew I was joking when I said I needed like 500 foundations, but I'm actually not joking. I actually think I need more than 500. I think I've used like, I think I've used like 300 already. I wasn't joking when I said you need like 3,000. Yeah. <gasps> and that's not including you trying to round it out and stuff like that. Yeah. I also like to point out that this is, uh, I still have to do the towers I plan to do that are going to hold the RGs. And the second floor. I have ambitions. I just want to point out, you did, you did all this work on your own. Yes. I don't know whether that makes me proud or sad. follow an Aaron Longstaff video and call it good. Uh, I thought about it, but then I got here and I start like, uh, I start laying the foundations down on the lake and I got a crazy idea and I was like, I'm going to do it this way and just start doing it. And now I'm kind of dedicated, I'm um, dedicated to getting it done, so. It'll look crazy once it, once I am if my idea is if I can get my idea out correctly. Yeah, if I can build it correctly the way I want to, I it will look really really good. It look really cool. I'm going like a fortress kind of building looking. Where, like, uh, with, like, t really hot t tall walls so you could p put, like, big-ass dinosaurs inside in uh, certain areas. I'm tempted to throw the, uh, industrial forge in here as well. I mean, with an RG army, it doesn't really matter. Yep, that's why I was like... With the, that's what I was like, with the, the RGs we have, it doesn't really, I don't need to really do it in a, really close to the volcano. Oh, thanks, Rain. God damn it. I will kill that roach one of these days. Nope, he keeps scurrying away. They're surprisingly fast. Why do I keep running out of... Alright, let's go and clear out this space because I'm not doing this correctly. Time to go home. Put this back, put that back. This back. Oh, I did. That back. 
that in there. Alright, back to back to the grind. I also been tempted to stream uh, No Man's Sky because I've been playing that a bunch, but I'll see. That one's another grindy yeah. one because if I want to do it properly and quickly, I'm gonna have to grind a bunch of cobalt. But uh, once I do it the first time, I don't have to do it again because I can just keep crashing every system's market every time I go on, go into one. From that point on, and then I'll switch to like uh, other materials once I get enough money. It was funny because it was like uh, a huge thing that people did in No Man's Sky was like crash the market in that way where they would buy, they would sell a bunch of cobalt and ionized cobalt. Then they'd buy it all back because it would crash the market and be, it would sell for really cheap. And then they would spend like half an hour going up to uh, NPC flyers that would go into the station and buy all their cobalt and then they would rinse and repeat and... Their answer to that was making it so you couldn't do the rinse and repeat part, but they didn't fix it where like if you went to another completely different system, it would just be a fresh market. So they just do it again and just it's still they were still able to do it. The only thing you did made them do is jump to a new system afterwards. <laughs> and it, it still works. It, I love it's, it's terrifyingly uh, effective for making a shit ton of money really quickly in that game. Um, because most people will do that in the beginning and then they'll, they'll switch to like, I think nanites where they'll do nanite, uh, because nanites sell for a lot too and do the same thing. And, um, there's like a tier, a list of tier uh, items you can go for. And then, uh, another cool thing is, uh, buying and selling ships. So you can go looking for either stray ships and then tear them apart for several million dollars. Or you could just buy a really good ship and then tear it apart. Wow, that's loud. But yeah, I like playing No Man's Sky though. They fixed a lot of stuff. They're making, the creators are making a new game. But uh, some people are worried that the, the, the main head guy is doing the same thing he did in the last time. When he was doing No Man's Skies and is opening his mouth and saying things he has no way of backing. And then it's going to bite him in the ass later. Which you think he'd learn the first time. Which, I don't know. I think it's people's just worried that that's what's happening. Because he's talking about his new game now. And, uh... I like to give him the benefit of I think he learned his lesson the first time. Probably did. I mean, he seemed like he did after the release of No Man's Sky and all the backlash and stuff. He actually, like, that's why he went quiet for so long. He went quiet for, like, six months. And his entire team just grinded out fixing the game. <laughs> uh, and he seems to have been... Uh, but you never know. I think he honestly needs an HR-like rep. I, need, I think he, he definitely needs someone to be like, hey, st stop talking. Stop, stop saying these things if it's not your fucking game yet. Why are you on my keyboard, sir? Diego's gone back into the abyss. I'm not sure where he is or what he's doing. Laying on the entirety of the keyboard, good sir. I hope everyone loves the two hour grind session that I'm currently doing. Probably gonna do another hour. Yeah, I almost made myself sick. Um, because I had, um, I did broccoli, rice, and chicken, and I made the chicken is so much larger than I thought it was, and I, I ate the whole thing. And one setting, and it was way too much food. Yeah. So I have to like start cutting the chicken in half, and then eating half of the rice and broccoli and chicken, and then the other half during lunch, which would save me money. 
because I still get I uh because I have a like protein shake in the morning at like twelve, and then I get to work at like one thirty ish, and then I eat meal, and then I eat meal again at six, and then that's well that's supposed to be it, but sometimes I'll eat something when I get home. It depends. Uh, they gave me a recipe for buenuelos, and the secret ingredient is supposed to be cheese, and I think that's a lie. Because <laughs> <laughs> I made them with my grandmother before, and there ain't no cheese in that recipe. <laughs> Maybe it's a special kind. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> All right, 104. I'm actually low on wood. I thought I had enough. I lied. No, no, I did because I did the math for like two, 200 foundations. So that that number is indeed correct. I did. I did not butch that up. Technically, it's more like I did it for 400 fucking foundations. But I guess after this, I'll lay down this. I guess after this, I'll lay down this foundation and then go get another fucking box worth of wood and do it again. I love how. I love how the video of us moving to Hidden Island got the most views so far. It jumped to like. It like jumped to like 80 something in like a couple, like a day or two. It was pretty ex excessive. That's cool. Yep. <laughs> After I'm done building this damn thing, I'm gonna go and murder so much crap. I'm gonna spend like four oh straight God. streams just murdering things on screen. After you're done building this, I'm gonna like randomly get on and start like randomly removing pieces of the foundation. I will fucking fight you. Oh, I will legitimately fight you. There will be a problem. Cause this is a very big project. It's gonna take me fucking weeks to get this done. Which is why I'm probably going to have to like do this off stream at some point. Cause I do not have the time for this. Uh to do the and just to wait until I'm streaming to do this. I have to do this off stream eventually. There's a fucking parasaur. Stop causing menaces. If you didn't say anything else about menacing, I'm gonna go to Carney Island and I'm gonna bring back a kitty cat. Please don't. And drop it in the lake. It's gonna take so much time to kill it if you do. I'll grab another, I'll just take another RG and just fling it somewhere in the woods. And let nature take its course. See how many things it kills before it dies. Time. I need to build a, ta a taming pen so I can get something so I can do caves. Cause everything we have is too fat for caves. Yeah, we definitely need to get some. Uh, what's it called? Uh, dung beetles. If I'm gonna do the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see if you ever actually get me anything to where I have a purpose of having dung beetles. What do you mean? 
I'm doing some I work. I don't see a greenhouse down. I don't see. I don't see a greenhouse down there. I just see a bunch of fucking stone foundations. Yeah, the stone foundation. The foundation has to come first. I didn't mean to do that, or did I? Yes, I did. I'm gonna go dino shopping. My lake is getting empty. It needs more things. Okay. Hey, Parasaur. Stop doing that. Okay, you didn't want a, uh, a saber tooth. How about I go find a dilocolio? Please don't. Okay, dino shopping. <laughs> dino shopping. Can I have this one, Dad? No, son. It will eat I, the entire family I, and the dog. <laughs> can I have the cute green thing? The little arms and big teeth? Yeah, I know. Can I pet that dog? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to lose all your appendages, go ahead. Azzy, I, I, I found something with a cell on its back. Can I have that dinosaur? It Fuck no. Like a doggy. No. But it's cute like a doggy. Absolutely not. I'm gonna feed it. Do not bring it. If it likes turtle. If it likes turtle. <laughs> I'm actually. Parasaur it is. Come here, parasaur. I'm actually getting somewhere slowly. Another 500 That's foundations, looking. and I'll be done. Doofy ass look on the parasaur. Mr. Spino, if I feed you, will you let me pet you? Are you hungry? Oh, you hungry? You hungry? Would you like this? Does it look yummy? Okay, here you go. I see why streamers, uh, I see why YouTubers cut this part out of the, the videos. He, he, he graciously, uh, he graciously accepted my gift. He doesn't want me to pet him though, he's kind of a prick. You just do a, a time lapse and everything. Yeah. Would you like a Bronto? Mmm, Bronto. Okay, I'll bring you a Bronto. You feeding it dinosaurs? Yes. Oh, that's what that thing is. Okay. So I'm gonna come smack the Bronto in the butt. Smack. Come on, Bronto. Yeah, big boy. Yeah, you want me to bring the Bronto home and put it in the lake? Please don't. I've got on, so many other things in this fucking lake already. I found a raptor I'm gonna bring home from next. Hi, Craig. Mmm, yeah. Come on, Bronto. Come on, Bronto. It's not a trap, I promise. Who wants to put money on the Bronto? Bronto, Bronto, Bronto versus Spino. Who shall be the victor? Uh, Spino. Uh, Bron Bronto got cold feet. Bronto. Okay. Well, time to make another hundred foundation. I am getting places. Oops. Hey, stupid. Quit killing that. Kill the I brought oh. you dinner. Stupid. Stupid. I think I actually think one more one more stream and I get this done. I might do that off. Well, no. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Who knows? All right, Beaver, get over here. I need you to chop down a gazillion trees for me. We'll go in the same area as the fucking the other guy went because you know it's already almost empty. Bronto versus Spino pay per view. I shall sit here and watch. Hi, Greg. You go and watch too? Sometimes I wish you had a. Sometimes I wish you had like a, a recording so that I could put it in from your perspective when you're doing shit like this so people can see what you're doing. And I just make it as like a, an extra video of just Vlad's perspective POV of just shit you do. Watching a Bronto get absolutely destroyed by this level 150s point out. Yeah. Yes.
Drop that, drop that, drop that, drop, 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 drop. The drop. Bronto's running. Oh, well that's stupid. I love how every now and then you'll hear Mari have a side comment about the game she's playing. <laughs> I finally put the thing down for like friends to visit your village or whatever, but you can't do any of the quests if it's open. Mm. So you have to close the connection. <laughs> so you're able to do the storyline or what the hell? Yeah. Uh, the Bronto got his ass whooped. That is weird. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll save you from the beach, little guy. Now my sole purpose is to harass Azzy. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Mara, your boyfriend's threatening to harass me. That <laughs> you'd be used to it by now. I am used to it. <laughs> he likes it. In all honesty, the worst I ever got was when I got back with Morgan and he never let me hear the end of it. Um, yeah. Hey, remember the time you didn't listen mm -hmm. to me and I told you you shouldn't do something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I totally deserved Turns it. Out I was fucking right. <sighs> He was, uh, he it was a well-deserved just poking and prodding. Yeah. Uh, it was great she if he doesn't about do that, us you know. Together. It was also the only time that for the briefest of moment I thought about just punching him in the face as hard as possible. Because <laughs> he was so <laughs> insistent about it. Probably been very bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> It only hap it only started happening when I was like after like a week or two and I was like I wanted to just yell at you like I got the point you can stop bringing it up No, you didn't because you stayed with her for six fucking months. You didn't get shit Sometimes it takes a little bit longer for the others, you know God damn, I had to poke and prod you about being fucking Lawrence's sugar daddy for like a year before you finally fucking figured it out. No, I just, I'm just too nice. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's my problem too. And luckily, Vlad kind of taught me to put up boundaries and draw lines. Yeah, I've learned to put lines in certain things. <laughs> yeah. If you don't, Please, you, 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 know, you kind deserve of the everything I gave you when you got back with Morgan. Yeah, I totally did. Because lo and behold, sure shortly after y'all got before. back together, she <laughs> fucking left her job. Mm. Mm. I still think she did that because she kind of backed herself into a wall and everyone started realizing she was lying so much about shit and that she was going to get fired for it. The fact that when y'all were broken up, she tried, uh, you know, cuddling with like five other guys and willing to move her back. And that's the real reason why you got the shit you got. Never truly understood why. But why. he does it because he cares. <laughs> no, I got stupid and let my emotions make my decisions and that was where I fucked up. I mean, granted, when I did come back and she fucking said what she said, she kind of shot herself in the foot. So I spent the next six months saving money. And not saying a single word while we're in a relationship again. Uh, with the full plan of just ditching her when our lease was up. Drop it on her when she takes you out to breakfast. Yep. I was being nice again during that time. I gave her more than a six month window because uh, at the time. 
Lawrence was like, yeah, I'm moving back to Texas. And I was like, yeah, I'm, n I'm not planning to release. And uh, I'm done with Morgan. And I'm going to let her know. Because originally I was going to be like, hey, three month notice. Hey, I'm not doing this no more. And I'm out. And uh, let her figure it out. But I was like, uh, I decided to say it then during breakfast. Because I was like, I'll be nice and give her like a couple months to actually figure shit out. And that was a fucking mistake. Yeah, she didn't figure anything out. She didn't. She just got a new boyfriend. Yep. No, Which that was her old. That anything. was her old boyfriend because she was with him the whole fucking time y'all were together. Yeah. Mm. Not okay. If anything, the the only part of that mistake was the fact that I let her stick around and just throw it in my face because that hurt way worse. Mm -hmm. It was a lot easier to deal with the second time around, but it's still like that that part of me. There's that part of me that like uh, still kind of had that issue, and then she dipped for six months, and it made it so much easier. I will admit, I lost a lot of sleep. Just fucking... Because my mind wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. Yeah, but I mean, you know... Just know it wasn't you. You know? Not yeah. your fault. You know, her actions led to the consequences that she had to deal with. Yep. So... Yeah, that's not on you. Yep, I actually haven't been, felt a odd. Uh, I haven't felt this good in a long time, and I, it was probably the best decision I've ever made. Like you need a detox, and then you start realizing, yeah, no, that wasn't right. Like, yeah. Because you know. it didn't. The first time around, the only reason it happened was because she was like purposely throwing it in my face, and like purposely playing with my emotions because she knew I still cared, even though I said I was yeah. done. Hoping that I would crawl back, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, because that's what a manipulative person does. Like, they want you hanging on. Yeah. Um, for their own personal gain or whatever they need you for. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that you cut that off, because you deserve much better. You um, yeah. don't deserve all that toxicity. It was probably the yeah, only. I just realized what I'm actually doing in the game, and you're gonna hate it when you get back. What? But I'm gonna keep doing it. What are you you'll doing? Figure it out when you, you get back. You'll, you'll figure it out when you just see a bunch of corpses in a pool. Yeah, my only my only regret about the exit as a as a whole was the fact that for like keep in mind for like for about I don't know two or three months I was stoic about everything she was doing after the fact like. Like, she, at this point, she, like, got with fucking the other guy and was, like, sleeping in the same bed with him. Like, having him come over and sleep with her. And, like, I, like, didn't say anything. I didn't react. But, uh, like, it got to, the, there was a point where I, uh, I told her something. Like, something had happened and I told her about it. And she basically kind of, like, blew me off. Because she spent, that, she spent the whole time acting like she didn't, she didn't give a fuck. And it kind of, I don't know, it just snapped, like, some part of me snapped that I had a three-year relationship with you, and you're so easily just throwing it out. Like, like you just, it was so easy for you to just walk away, and I'm over here just dealing with it. And I lost it in front of her, and uh, I felt guilty because I was trying to be the bigger person about it and not do that because I, I was trying to be better. And it just, I couldn't stop it from happening. Because it was just, it was just the stress and the anger and all the emotional uh, Actually, I'm issues. I'm pretty sure I remember what you lost your shit on her about. And you had every reason to lose your shit. Because I'm pretty sure it was one of those times you had a fucking important phone call to them and she told you a fucking five days later. No, that was, that was another thing. That was, that was, it was like, hey, uh... That was something about the apartment, and I lost my shit on her about that because it was... Oh, I got it five days ago, and I was not told until, like, it was almost... It, the day it was, before. Yeah. And it was an important, like, so financial funny. thing. Yeah, it was an important financial thing that had to be taken care of. Yeesh. Yeah, but, I mean, like, your reactions to things is, like, it's totally normal because it's, like... 
any person that actually truly cared about someone is going to have those emotions. Yeah. You know, um, someone that I feel like is... Far nicer than in, I was. Is, yeah, ingenuous and fake about, like, actually caring for someone. Like, yeah, I... Yeah, I would be upset, too. Because you, you, there's a certain point you get to, like, your breaking point. Um, and that's totally normal, too. Well, I think, I think a, lar a large part of it was, like... Like, it was, it, I think it just, like, finally sunk in, like, the last three years of my life was pretty much a fucking waste financially, emotionally. Like, everything I did, none of it mattered. And it, like, it finally just, like, broke me down. Yeah. I completely understand that. I wasted nine years, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. imagine wasting nine yeah. years. I don't know how I'd yeah. respond if, I, after I nine years. Nine fucking years. I was dumb. But, you know. It takes a little, you know, sometimes it takes longer for people to realize and, and actually be like, oh yeah, no, that wasn't okay, and that was not healthy, and, you know, you don't really f notice it until you are outside looking. Yeah, at, yeah, looking at in it. after everything, like after yeah. the aftermath, you're yeah. like, oh wow, this was kind of fucked from the beginning. Yeah, because it takes two people to work on something, and you, no matter how hard you try, um, if one person is not willing to meet you at least halfway or work yeah. together, it's not gonna work. Yeah, there's no a there's a lot of times where I came to her and I was like, we need to stop this like stuff, this yeah. problem you have. You need to go and do something about this. And she was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, and it never happens. Mhm. Mm yeah. 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 I mean, honestly, I should have left a long, long time ago. Yeah. And nobody else wanted to tell you any of the shit other than me. Yeah. Also, I'm like the only person that gave you shit when you got back with her. Everybody else was like, oh, I knew y'all were going to get back together. Y'all are a good couple. Yeah. And I just look at you and be like, are you fucking stupid? Yeah. yeah. No, my, like, if anything, the biggest mistake I made was, uh, after she, uh, sexed the guy a year and a half into our relationship, I should have ended it there, but that was... Yes, you should have, but you were manipulated into it thinking it was your fault. You it was you are the reason why she did it it was you. yeah well that's what you she that's kind of she like after the fact she threw that in my face and i kind of i think the biggest thing was is like it was it was a completely emotional weakness because at that point i had spent a long time without someone in my life like that and like mm -hmm. like as much as i wanted like i like was on like I was gonna leave I was like I was gonna be done and then like just thinking of going back to being how I used to be and what it was like I like I let my emotions get the best of me and I probably should have just I should have just taken like a week away from her and it wouldn't have happened if I had been anywhere away from her where she couldn't have said or done anything or like I could see her and like let let like Honestly, be looking at her and remembering everything that, what, like being with her felt like, and how much I wanted to keep that. Like I, it was like an almost denial where I was like, I wanted it to go back to where it, like before I realized that's what she did. I wanted it to be like, uh, like how it felt like it was, how nice it felt and how good it made me feel and now. Oh, that's my that was one of my stupidest decisions. Like I should have just left then. That was sh that should have been my break uh breaking point, but again, you cared and you wanted to work on it and like I definitely see a lot of <laughs> similarities between what you went through and what I went through. So, yeah. I mean, I I stuck around longer than I should have too and like I found stuff that I you know was not uh shouldn't have been a thing you know like and i was so stupid because i still cared so and at a certain point they kind of get used to you being like oh well, they'll always be around because yep. they care about me so it doesn't matter what i do because they'll always come back and um that's not it's not okay you know but yeah be happy that you saw the light yeah <laughs> I remember, uh, I remember when it happened, uh, because Lawrence and Krista were there, and, uh, Krista had asked if she, if she wanted to take the number and call the dude, or text the dude, and ask him if they actually did anything, and there was a, 
I told her no, and we never did. So I never know the actual answer to it, if they actually did anything or not. But I know she went to his house for hours. But uh, I think it would have broke me if I knew the answer to that, and if it was a yes. You already, you already know the answer. By the way, be careful. There's true yeah. dawns out. Oh, there are true dawns out. Cool. Yeah. There's also this angry thing that I have to kill now. Yeah. But, the, I mean, there's some things that you just kind of, maybe just... Well, that one... Just don't want the answer yeah, that one I didn't want the answer at the moment, because I knew if I got an answer and it was not one I liked, I don't know what my response would have been. Because um, I was already on the edge. For It took me hours mm -hmm. to back off that fucking cliff. To just... Mm -hmm. Like... I don't even know, like, I don't know. Um, I don't think I would have done anything bad if Krista and Lawrence wasn't there. I think I would have walked out. Uh, I don't know what I would have done if I walked out of that fucking apartment or where I would have gone or what I would have done. But uh, there was a lot of, there was a lot of bad, I went to a bad place for about several hours and it took me a long time to step off of that area. And I have no idea what I would have done. I'm glad that you didn't, but, you know, there shouldn't be, like, anyone that should make you feel that way, that should, you know, yeah. get you to that, that point. Watch my hand. It probably also fucking explains why in that time frame I was gave so little fucks if anyone came up and tried to fuck with me because I was totally okay with just fighting someone for the longest time. That's why you need like an outlet, a healthy outlet. <laughs> well, I didn't like, actively I seek out someone to fucking pound <laughs> a face into, but I totally... <laughs> Where you worked. <laughs> <laughs> like for me, I have my body combat class where I can like kick and punch out my frustrations. So like that's my healthy outlet when I need to, you know, kind of unload stress and emotions and stuff. So yeah, because I think yeah. I think back then I was I was like, okay, yeah, if uh, I get harassed by a homeless guy, I might just beat him to death and just call it a day and feel so much better, which is really bad to feel like that, but. Yeah. It was where I was at at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm glad you're away from all of that now. Yeah, me too. And we're not going to do it again? Fuck no. <laughs> okay. I'm trying my hardest not to let it, like, drive me to be more, uh, paranoid and, like, untrusting around the next person oh, I get yeah. with. Cause that's like my biggest thing is like, I'm not trying to let the experience like make me be more aggressive or closed off and or like, like, like possessive like closed extra. off. Yeah. 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 Well, Vlad can tell you that I was very closed. <laughs> cause there is, <laughs> cause uh, the second time around, <laughs> yeah, cause, trust. cause the second time around near the end, I, I'll be dead honest near the, uh, on the, the right when I was leaving, and like she like was f fucking with the other guy. I almost went like full robot. I just went like I was like uh, like I just like there was a moment where I was like I can just stop if I could just just cut everything out, just stop feeling anything, and just be completely robotic and just not feel anything because I just didn't want to. And I was like, that's not healthy for me. I'm not gonna do that. It's not, but it takes you a while to heal from that and recover from that. Yeah, I'm in a so, lot better place. That's good. That's good. I'm also that's doing good. so much better financially. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> I, uh, 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 I tell Vlad this. I was like, yeah, I, I dropped like fucking 10 pounds worth of fat when I fucking broke out with her. 10, 20 pounds of fat. I, like, I immediately lost a bunch of body fat because I stopped going out to eat. I fucking started eating healthier. Yeah. Yep. You start taking care of you, which yep. is the most important part. You know? Because when you're in something like that, you 
stop taking care of yourself. I think the only bad thing, I knew I was stressed because uh, that entire time right before the lease was up, I was having like, uh, like constant, constant PTSD episodes. Um, yeah, yeah. And then after everything settled and I moved and everything, it just stopped. And I haven't it's had, bad. yeah, I haven't had any, uh, uh, they're, they're back to like their average. <laughs> They're actually that's almost, cool. uh, they're almost infrequent nowadays, actually. Uh, well, that's good. Because it's, com yeah, because yeah, it's, com uh, no duh, PTSD episodes are completely tied to stress. Um, so. I bet. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're having less of them. And yeah, uh, I used to have a lot of panic attacks and night terrors. Oh, and then after I broke up with my ex, yeah, they pretty much stopped happening. Yeah you don't realize how much it takes a toll on your mental health. Uh. I was telling Vlad though that I found out that my um, brother and I guess some of my cousins play Ark on the server too as well. Nice. <laughs> like I did in that. Uh, okay, cool. So it was a PvP server, so I need to agree to them. Let's not. Let's not. I'm a That actually, uh, I used to play with, uh, for a long, long time ago, uh, uh, oh, when I... tell the Kevin Hart story? What? Oh, uh, no, this, I, this is a Kevin different Hart one. Kevin Hart story. Yeah, this one, was, that was, uh, different. Uh, it was most the Kevin Hart story is actually really simple. I was playing on a non-dedicated server, which was my personal server, and I was using it as a place to play with buildings, to like build a house. And I had finished it, and it looked really good and was really complicated. I left for work and I left it running so I can run stuff in the background, or it. Uh, and I forgot that I didn't put a password in and I didn't put it on private and some guy named Kevin Hart showed up and blew my doors in and stole all my shit and left. And it was funny because I knew the moment it happened because I was in the middle of a shift and I was ringing someone out and I immediately stopped what I was doing and said someone is raiding my house. And lo and behold I get home the night uh, that night and I'm like yep someone raided my entire base. <laughs> like darn you Kevin Hart <laughs> yeah yeah it said Kevin Hart killed you and I'm like okay like the Kevin Hart or like a person calling himself Kevin Hart because I'd be impressed if it was either I think whoever it was was pussy shit because he raided me offline oh yeah yeah yep oh my god that's crazy I didn't know that was a thing yep <laughs> Well, that's what happens with, when you get servers. People could just join them if you don't have a password protected, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't like people who play, uh, who uh, other people playing usually, so I just, I like having my private servers. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, and I like our private servers too, because we like playing, like, we actually like progressing steadily in a game. Like, I can't, I don't think I can deal with, like, people that just want to, like, talk around and fuck up shit. You definitely would not like Rust. Scatterbrain. I'm, I'm done. like, no. Both in for the spectrum, and they're equally a pain in the ass. you go away, he's working here, and you're gonna fuck it up because you're hyper aggressive for no reason. Yeah. I like having, like, a general plan of what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. I think Rust is the worst example. for the day, is then I just started dropping dinosaurs in the pond over here, and they keep drowning for some reason. Thank God. <laughs> the secret trap is doing its job. <laughs> it's quite entertaining. It's like, I, I don't know, I've killed like all the parasaurs around us, and they all come to this one corner over here and drown because they can't get out and they're too stupid to keep their head above water. Apparently, tech parasaurs don't require oxygen. No. No, no. They're, uh, they're robots. They don't breathe on the water. I'm gonna be... Now I got two new friends over here. Oh, the poop pig's still alive. Oh, the poop pig's buoyant. 
There's an Iguanodon over here, and there's a Spitty McAsshole over here. I mean, there's like a psychotic, or I'm just doing this to harass Azzy. I'm not sure which one it is. I'm going with psychotic. So I'm sure oh, that's it. I like to point out that it's just your psychotic because I'm not even in the water doing anything, so it's not even yeah, hurting me. If you're in the water, I'd probably be dropping the raptors in. Yes, probably. Alright, I made 78. It's not enough, but I'll put down what I have now because I'll probably end soon. Because I ran out of stone and to collect another box is going to take me another half hour and there's no point. Uh, I rather go to I rather go to sleep and do this tomorrow. It's raining and it's foggy and I can't see. I don't like it. I have one piece running in the background. Nice. They've been fighting this guy for like 12 years. So That's why I thought you were originally watching Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> that's, well, that's the problem. With Goku screaming to power up. Yeah, I'm about to say, I don't know. I, I want to say that's because of Dragon Ball Z because that's what they started doing in the, uh, the big yeah. three. But I think it, I, I don't know if the fights get any easier later on in the anime. When they finally drop that fucking trope. I've been watching them do CPR and Luffy underwater for like two and a half episodes now. And they use the rubber, the fact that he's rubber to like pull his head out of the water, which is smart. I gotta give him credit for that one. The title is uh, Luffy Full Power, so hopefully Luffy does something instead of scream like a bitch. Dun 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 dun. dun. Well, I find it funny because it's like, um, I remember when they got to the episode where Luffy hit fifth gear and everyone lost their fucking mind and it was the only meme I didn't understand because I don't know anything about One Piece. So everyone was like, yeah, because everyone's like, he finally hit fifth gear and I'm like, what does that mean? What are the gears? And I'm like, I... Like, it's the only bad thing about, like, I, f I wonder if it's just fast to read the manga. Oh, boy. Do I need to go underwater and do the beneath this? No, I don't. I didn't think so. You shouldn't have needed the... Pick you up because you're. Oh, cool. I can't pick you up, so you're just gonna be a waste of a foundation. That's great. I love doing that. It was fine while it lasted. Yeah, I'm gonna finish these last foundations, then call it a stream, because i got to go to sleep. Plus, I'm almost at two and a half, I'm over two and a half hours. Yeah. Plus, I do I'm gonna watch and see how long that Parasaur stays on that little lake before you remove it. Is that a fucking Trudon? Oh. It's a good idea. It's a duh, it's a dinosaur. Duh. There you go. 
Come on, Parasaur. Thank you for showing me your head. You do so much more damage on the headshot. So nice. Oh, look at him run. I wonder why. It's all right. He's dead. He answers the greatest question of all: Do tech parasaurs bleed? Apparently, the answer is yes. Yeah. I think that's they don't odd. Don't breathe, but they bleed. Yeah, it's they don't breathe. They're they're. It's implied they're like fully robotic, but they bleed, which is I think just lazy design. I think someone just was like, take the parasaur and change its skin, and that's it. And add it to, uh, change its drops to something else. I think you're right. Now I know it looks like I haven't done much, and that I've spent. I can't, I, I can't even tell what you've done, man. And I have technically, like, it. I know for a fact I've put like. 400 of these down. Did that... Was that needed? I don't think so. Technically... Oh my Christ. What? The fucking range for the S plus feeding trough. What? How big is it? It's a humongous... Pot. Oh God, oh, yeah. Half play to where the lake is. Nice. Oh, you can see, you can see all that, and it goes halfway out of the fucking hidden lake. Awesome. <laughs> um, I wish. Uh, that's something they did in the Ark Ascendant. The, like, uh, the power generator no longer needs lines. You just set it down and it has an area. They do the same for the watering tank and the watering, um, the the uh well, which is pretty neat. It's a cool idea. I'm pretty certain it was an S plus mod. Which is why they chose to do it. Because it's literally something people suggested that they want it. <gasps> oh, was that it? That was it. That was indeed all of it. I still have so much to do. Yep. Have you made it to where you need four yet? What's up? Have you made it to where you need four yet? I'm almost willing to bet the dead center of this is gonna be five. Yes, I think it is. It's five deep. I think it has to be. Yep. But the dead center of this, I will have to remeasure because the dead center of this is where I'm planning to put the intake water intake pipe and then surrounding it around in a circle is going to be water tanks. And then from that point on out, each I'm going to quarter it off by sections and each section will be a different crop and we'll do it that way. And the rest of the fucking foundation, I'm going to re- for entertainment. Quit running. No. Stop it. can't eat you off the bird. What the fuck is this? What are you doing, you little idiot? Come okay. Hey, hey, I brought you a friend. Spidey. I'm just looking at this guy. Nope, I'm going night night. Yeah, because I got to rearrange this side, that, this, basically all the corners. Yeah. God, that didn't catch you while you're out there in the water. Yep, I did not see it at all either. But yeah, I uh, plan to re redo the uh, outline essentially, so it's more circleish, and that should solve my problem. That's the only thing I have to do after I put all the foundations down. Um, and then I'll raise it up and do all the walls and stuff. That'll be great. Uh, what else? I want more spark powder for, uh, the thing we did, so I know what we're doing. Oh, cool. You got the meat thing up. Yep. Do we, do we have spark powder? Probably not. 
I can fix that real quick. Oh god, what are you carrying? <laughs> that Anki is carrying. Uh, I wonder if it's still full. Uh, I wonder if it's still full of metal that I never fucking. Uh, yeah, about to say. Yeah, he is. Yep, he's full of metal. You bring him up here, I'll stuff it in. I knew I was forgetting to do something. Oh god, he's gonna be so slow. I'll be there next year. I will grab the other one then. Yeah. Now you should also hit yeah, I things. Might have, I might have maybe accidentally grabbed a, a little bit of metal. <laughs> a little bit of metal. Do you hit rocks too? He is not. At least not this rock. Alright, I'll set you down. I just need like 200 flint. So I can turn into like a ton of spark powder. Alright. Cause I want to load up this thing with spark powder and then make sure I give all the dinos food so they don't starve overnight because I will not be jumping on this until at least uh, like a gazillion hours from now. I'm ten I know like if I want to get this done faster I could jump on in the morning but I have a bunch of D&D stuff to do that I need to get out of the way that I've been neglecting. Yep, I, gotta, I gotta do the backstory. Do you have a general idea when you want to start the campaign? Uh, after Christmas. probably after Christmas and after New Year's, because I still have to play around with Roll20, get the subscription for it, um, finalize a bunch of stuff. Like, I, I, once I finish doing the, what I'm doing now, I can actually sit down and, like, f make sure everything's flushed out for the first five levels, and maybe do the surrounding area, just in case. gonna flush out the NPCs all that shit shouldn't once I'm done doing the only reason why it's taking me so long to get anything done is because the part that I'm doing now requires me to do it on the PC because I can't do it on my iPad but everything else I could do on my iPad oh something's happening well your Raptor won against oh no actually it was the Argentavis who killed it interesting I was more worried about it killing the doe dick. Yeah. But yeah. I think once I uh, get that, the grindy part where I'm like separating all this, the bergs to their provinces and do all that, I'm fucking, I can finally sit down and with the tablet, just go through and double check all my information for the first, for the entirety of the Lost Minds of Fandelver. And yep. then, I'll, as I'm playing Lost Minds of Fandelver, I'll work on Ice Peaks because that will technically be next, but that is a very optional quest line because you guys can straight up ignore it at, uh, to a certain point. Uh, it will get to the point where you're like directly asked, hey, we need someone to go check this out. We're having problems over here, but it's not like yeah. shoved in your face. Even, I mean, even Lost Minds of Fandelver won't be shoved in your face that aggressively. Um, because I know in the, in the book, it's like, it doesn't really give you a, a motivation in the book to actually do anything uh, with the town itself. You're kind of just like, like the book is like, oh, you're supposed to start out knowing um, the main guy. And then that gives you two Fandelver, which gets you guys attacked. And that starts the whole thing. And that's supposed to start everything. And I'm just like, yeah, but a complete group of strangers would be like, here's your shit. I got attacked by goblins. You guys can fuck off and leave. 
So I feel like I should, uh... I mean, it might help that you guys will be flat broke. <laughs> so you need gold. Yeah. I need water. Thank you. But yeah. The best, that's why I kind of made it sandboxy, so in case you guys didn't feel like, hey, I don't want to do this, I'm like, cool, what do you guys want to do? <gasps> you guys could st stumble into a vampire plot that could get you all fucking murdered, but you know. Murder! They can join a war that has nothing to do with the place you started in. There's so much going on in that world. I'm actually, it's so big that I'm actually throwing in the, I, I'm thinking about taking other D&D &D adventures and just plotting them in certain places to just run their course to see what would happen. That way, if you guys want to do other things, you can, but that's a lot of work, but we'll see. Oh no, I got hurt. Split stack. Perfect. 200 should do it. We definitely need a bunch of cooked meat, though. Well, I actually know right now it wouldn't be a good idea because it'll just go bad. Two, so, uh, stack of 23 prime meat, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what is that? 6, 12, 18, 19, 24, 24 and a half stacks of cooked meat. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I might have been, you know, putting people in a swimming pool so they can splish splash around and have fun, but... True it on. When I stopped having fun, I harvest them. So I'm gonna smack it. Huh. Where's that Dilo? It's hard to tell from this angle. Run up to it and you'll find out. It's very true. Oh. You look, you, you look scared. Hold on, I'll help you. Will you fucking stop being in the storm? Yeah, come on, big boy. It was a true dawn. Oh, well, they're fighting uh, something. There's a... Yeah. Another... Another... That is about to have a bad fucking time. The dialogue is living a lot longer than it should have. That was 162, that's why. Oh, there's a random pile of shit on your, uh, max floor in here. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, so let's see. Let's Drop it, you... Two. All right. Do on the count. Dead pig. I'm tired of counting. We're just gonna call it fifty around. So that's a. Uh, uh, let's see, 150, uh, I don't know, that's another, roughly another thousand or so. Yeah. That you have to make? Yeah, probably. So, so that's another, what, 8,000 stone or more? No, uh, that's gonna be a lot more stone than that. It's like 80,000. Yep, this is what happens when somebody wants to do these massive ass builds. Hey, don't blame me, it was a good idea. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a night, though. Okay, I'll see you at work Sunday. Yep, bye-bye. Alright, bye. Okay, you, you heard him, he said yeah, but I don't have to go tomorrow. No, 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 you show up to work, <laughs> motherfucker. Nope, 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 you said Sunday. Alright, I'll see you guys. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Alright, everybody, that's gonna be it for me today.
I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry about all the last this episode and the last one. It's oh, uh, pretty grindy, and uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'll eventually I'll stop doing videos where it's just me making stuff. It is kind of where we are at though. If I want to make the base, so I hope you guys uh. I hope you guys can bear with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know when we're playing. I don't know if we're playing tomorrow night or what. It, we'll find out. I'll see you guys then. It'll also be on my YouTube channel. Be on Twitch. You guys can watch it, like it, do whatever you fucking want. That is your decision. I actually prefer if you actually watch. Well, actually, YouTube it looks like shit. But uh, yeah. Uh, have a nice night, everybody. Good night.